Okay, everyone, today we've got the 08 GMC Envoy in here for a right outer CV boot. Twenty one on this. Let's see if this is going to play nice. All right, so I've got my jack under the lower ball joint, putting a little bit of pressure up before I release this nut on the top. See it splitting right here. Let's lower the jack down. Hold on to this. Okay, now let me stick that back in there just for a second. And let's get this nut undone. So the reason we have to do this is the CV boot gets ripped and starts puking the grease out and it gets it's all over here. It gets on your tone ring down in there which can give you ABS problems and light coming on. Uh, 36. All right, so we're going to have to, this is stressing this line right here, so we got to take our ABS line loose. So we'll definitely have to undo those. It's really close to coming out, too. That's what stinks. There's just not enough room there. And this is an Allen head. Okay, wiggle this out of here. And we got three washers on there. up out of the way.
guys, so there's a clip in here that needs to be spread open to get this joint off the shaft. It's not easy to do either, so I'm using these bent pliers, snap ring pliers. You have to push both sides of that apart. All right, so I ended up taking the whole axle out and just put the pry bar right here and it pushes right out. But to get this CV joint off, most of them you can hit right here and it knocks it off. So I actually hit it so hard that I broke the race. So on this one, there's a circlip in here where you have to use basically like a bent lock ring pliers. Go in here, spread this clip apart as far as you can, and then it comes off. To put it back on, since this is tapered, it will literally just slip back on. But you cannot hit that off with a hammer and get it off. So I'm going to go get a new either CV joint or a whole new axle and then we'll put that in. So looking at this, if you see an indentation in here, see how this is a nice perfect circle right here and then you have this indentation. There's probably this circlip in there. Otherwise you would just tap this with a mallet and it should come off but if this little indentation is in here you probably have a circlip so normally to fix this now we would just slide our boot on slide this up and on and it locks in fill our boot up with grease put our bands on and put it back in but now I had to go get a whole new axle so We'll slap this in. It's already got the boots on it and it's all ready to go. So now, to put it back in, we're gonna get this little coat of oil, slide it back in, and then put it all back together. So getting that axle in, I found it best to take the circlip off and figure out how it liked to go in because sometimes you have to move it up and over and around. There's two things you're fighting against. There's the seal and then the splines and, and there's a bearing in there that you're trying to mesh up. So once I figured out where how it liked to go in, put the circlip back on, and was able to push it in and figure it out that way. All right, so we've got our axle in our spindle started. Now it's gotta get this up in here and this and put the nut on the bottom at the same time. So we've got our bottom ball joint torqued to 81 foot-pounds. Put your sensor back in before you put your rotor on. Re-put the brake hose hold down on. You have to do torque this upper ball joint bolt yet. And this goes to 30 foot pounds. I'm 
going to do the tie rod last so that I can spin this around easy. on these and the thing left is our tie rod forty four foot pounds on this. Screwdriver to hold our rotor in place. Hub nut goes to 140. Let's do a quick double check. Make sure everything looks good. Alright, put our tire back on. Torque up the lug nuts and we're done. on the lug nuts. Thanks for watching everybody. See y'all in the next one.